Today we're going to be showcasing a very unique Nova Scotia experience. Super exciting. So we just checked out of these beautiful cottages. We actually checked in last night, had an amazing stay. It is the Shangri-La Cottages located at Burnt Coat Head because that is where today's video is coming to you from. And they are gorgeous. They are one and two bedroom cottages, a nice living room with two skylights. So there's so much natural light flooding in, a full kitchen and a beautiful bathroom, pretty accessible to the shower. It's nice to see that there's accessible options and a nice bedroom as well. And of course, they all have a view of the ocean because they're located right on the coast. Last night's sunset was incredible. Incredible. So good. The Just tide beautiful. was in. So the first time we were at Cooper and Coat Head was about a month ago and the tide was fully out. So it's very cool to see that tide change. So those are the cottages behind us there. And next up, we're going to be going right over there. Today we are going to be taking you on a culinary adventure with us. We are going to be dining on the ocean floor. And no, we are not going to be eating underwater. When we told David's mom that, she totally thought that we were eating in some type of bubble or scuba diving down or something. No, we are on the ocean floor right now. Burncoat Head along the Bay of Fundy in Nova Scotia is the point of the world's highest tides which is bonkers. So coming to visit here is a bucket list thing to do anyways. But what we're gonna do today is even bigger than that. We are going to be experiencing and savoring a bunch of amazing culinary delights right here on the ocean floor. Let's go. First up, we are taking an edibles tour. Don't know what that means yet. Let's go see. We would have people who come from all over the world to come and, and enjoy this amazing feat. What's extra special now is that we're all blue nosers. Yeah. <laughs> Dries your mouth right out. By all means, have a chew. So I've taken this and just dehydrated it, made it into a powder, and then reconstituted it as you would have kind of a wasabi. So this is supposed to be Nova Scotia's wasabi. It's supposed to be kind of spicy. Yep. Tastes just like wasabi. We just got shown around foraging by Jonathan. It was very cool to try all those different things. Some of those things tasted like just not what I expected. It was wild. It was so cool to see the wild edibles of Nova Scotia, like stuff, yeah. We, you probably would see in your everyday walk if you lived in Nova Scotia and who knew that you could eat them. So it's Jonathan Knowles of Knowles Jewels Edibles. Thank you so much. Next up, we are doing a shore boil with some yummy uh, wine and beer pairings too. As you eat your muscle, as you eat your clam, <laughs> try to hit, you got it! Oh. We got an expert right there! This is the shore boy. Look how good that looks. I wish you could smell this through the camera. <laughs> That's amazing. And we gotta eat it and then get the shell. In those buckets behind us. Beverages for today are all Nova Scotia, of course. We have Avondale Sky with their Tidal Bay, and we have Schoolhouse Brewery too. It's called Summer Day IPA, and it's a beautiful summer day. Yeah. I missed. I'm sorry. I love it. So there's a towel tab, so you can plunge your hands right in. And this is the tab. This is. Highlight, one of the highlights of the day <laughs> is that after the shore boil and after we have our seaweed and fishy, yeah. you wash your hands with me. Uh, so you kind of just plunge it in for like 10, 15 seconds okay. and uh, it'll turn into a, a oh, nice... Oh, here it goes. Oh, it's... Oh, it's a... 
It's a cloud. At Park oh, get yeah, One time someone thought it was a mint when it was in its hot, re dehydrated form. <laughs> So that is the Edna Kiefel muscle, muscle thing in the <laughs> So lots of us got it inside the buckets or outside the buckets. This one. But only Edna got one right on the corner of, oh, right on the side of the bucket. Just getting a little tour from Anita, getting some facts about Burn Coat Head, super interesting. It's telling us about all the little creatures that live here. So when you come here, you have to go to the right. Not the left, because there's some endangered species on the left. This tidal water is so warm, and there's a bunch of crabs and periwinkles and mussels that we're discovering. It's so cool. I mean, hours ago, this was meters high with ocean water, and now we are discovering the floor of it and saying hi to all the creatures. We are about to sit down at our group table right over there behind me. That's where we're having a bonfire. So first dinner, three course meal, followed by a bonfire. Our first course is the celebration plate. So we have Nova Scotia cheeses, some charcuterie, uh, locally made pickles, and artisanal crackers. The second course is coming up, so Avondale Sky top us up with some notorious R.E.D. Our second course is called High Tide, Low Tide. It is local raised beef, butter poached lobster, succotash with organic vegetables. And it's paired with that one and another schoolhouse brew. Our last and final course of this amazing experience is called the Sun and Moon Meat and it's dessert time which means it is local berries, lavender, phyllo and a Grand Mariner um, mascarpone as well. It looks super light and refreshing. Gonna dig in. Dinner was amazing. Incredible, so absolutely mind-blowing. The food was insane. Dominic, thank you so much. You are an amazing chef. And I mean, the overall experience, getting to have the three courses with this view. This view. And it's not over. It's not even over. Now we're gonna go have a campfire. <laughs> the wind really picked up. We talked too much and everybody left. And this is the campfire with no more people. <laughs> <laughs> Our group has gone home and we are going to have some chocolate and coffee, I think. I don't know. It was know. at seven hours. It just flew by. Oh my gosh. So fast. This is so cool. What a day. What a day. Checked out the campfire, grabbed some coffee. We got our leaving packages, a bunch of goodies in here. As if we didn't have enough goodies already. Some there's, chocolate. <laughs> there's chocolate, like steak spice, a wine tasting to Avondale Sky. And speaking about chocolate, we also got this little chocolate here from Petit Patrie. Petit Patrie. <laughs> They're located in Kentville. Um, they have uniquely Nova Scotian chocolates. Definitely go check them out. We heard word of a chocolate flight. Don't know what that means, but sounds amazing. Gotta check it out someday. And yeah, we are just feeling overwhelmed with happiness and thankfulness. Thank you so much to Dominic Padula for being an incredible chef, for all of the staff, for I mean, behind the scenes. A lot of work. You are not oh seeing God. them carry those chairs and tables <laughs> up and down to the ocean floor. Just incredible. And thank you to this beautiful scenery, I think. I don't know. Thank you, Mother Nature. This is absolutely spectacular a bucket list thing if you're looking to add bucket list things to your nova scotia endless bucket list um this is one of them dine on the ocean floor subscribe to our channel yeah. if you can thank you for watching Sub share it subscribe it a little behind the scenes earlier today before we even started anything we planted a gopro on the time lapse and it's been running for ooh, eight hours possibly but we're not even sure if it's still there because it was so windy. It's still here. It's still there. 
I think it's still going. It's still going. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> we taped it and everything. And that's a big battery box. No, I'm pretty sure you get these too, like uh, <laughs> napkin holders. It's got my name on it. <laughs> Take that home with me. Skylar got one too. <laughs> it's that wedding ring that David's wearing. Your fingers are so big. Here, here. Put that on. There you go. Bye. Bye.